Bill Galston is a senior fellow in governance studies at Brookings Institution. Bill was a former senior policy advisor to President Bill Clinton, and he's advised on numerous presidential campaigns. Bill Galston, good to have you with us on Bloomberg. So are all of the candidates going to be prepped previous to the debate with the various questions? They'll be almost doing a mock debate before the event in Hanover, New Hampshire? Well, some will, some won't. Uh, it, it has been publicly stated that Newt Gingrich's idea of pre-debate preparation is a Diet Coke. Uh, and I'm not sure that Herman Cain even has a staff to prep him. Uh, but I'm reasonably sure, on the other hand, that people like Mitt Romney uh, are, are going to be preparing for this debate very meticulously. Now, Bill Galston, will they be offering, in a sense, stock answers to the question of how do you create jobs in the United States? Well, uh, if the moderators and questioners allow them to get away with stock answers, they probably will. Uh, but if there's good pointed questioning, then they're going to have to say more about their views than simply the talking points that they walked in with. So, Bill Galston, what questions would you like to put to the candidates? Well, all sorts of questions. For example, there is an official Republican budget on the table, Congressman Ryan's budget. And a lot of the presidential candidates have been bobbing and weaving uh, so as to say nice things about the Ryan budget without getting into details that might turn out to be controversial and politically costly. And so I'd, I'd like some questions on the table that will force them to get specific about where they agree with the Ryan budget and where they disagree. Here's another big one. I think everybody agrees that we don't have pro-growth tax reform, a pro-growth pro tax code right now. What do we do about that? Uh, some candidates have been moderately specific, like Herman Cain, for example. Others have been highly and deliberately unspecific. Again, uh, I think the panel ought to force these candidates to get more precise about what they would do and what they wouldn't do. What do they think about uh, uh, the so-called super committee? Should it stay small? Should it go large? If it goes large, how should it do it? These are all crucial policy questions. And then there's some big international questions as well. Uh, I read Mitt Romney's 59-page single-spaced campaign document. And in seven pages, he declares in no uncertain terms his intention to risk a trade war with China in order to try to do something about the current imbalance in our trade relationship. Uh, the issue has come up in previous debates, but the only one who declared himself really other than Romney was Governor Huntsman. It would be very interesting to find out where Governor Perry and some of the rest stand on the question of how the United States deals with its uh, economic relationship with the People's Republic of China. I could go on, but those are some big ones that would really have an impact not only politically but economically. Bill Galston, do you feel as if the uh, Occupy Wall Street demonstrations that have taken place in New York and around the country will have an effect on the Republican race for presidential candidates? Well, it's conceivable. Uh, for example, uh, Congressman Cantor, Eric Cantor, the second-ranking Republican in the House of Representatives, went out of his way just yesterday to denounce the Occupy Wall Street movement as, quote, a mob. Uh, and it's at least possible that the other candidates will be asked their views of this question, and they may also be asked about the underlying substantive issues. Uh, All right, we're going to leave. Do they think leave it that there. working Americans are being treated fairly? I want to thank you very much, Bill Galston, joining us from Brookings Institution.